Hey, what's up guys? My name is Steven. Welcome to video number three in the in this new video tutorial series where I'm building a login registration system in Code Igniter. Um, in this video series, I'm actually going to actually going to be building the form the the login form using the form helper. Um, and I also have to apologize. Um, I noticed when I was watching the last video and just previewing it that the mouse didn't show up and the mouse wasn't showing, but I was actually able to find uh, find that problem and fix it. So uh, I apologize for that. Cool. So um, why don't we get started right away? First thing I'll do, open up my PHP tags, and then just do a echo form underscore open. Um, now this receives one parameter, but we're just going to leave it empty for now. I'll show you the reason why, just in case you want to use it for a different function or show you a bit more about it. Um, so if I save this and run it, you can see I'll, uh, I'll view my page source. And it's not actually showing up. Oh, I'm going to connect. One of the things I did was restart my computer, so... Uh, to fix the mouse problem, and that seemed to work. So now if we view the page source, you can see we have the form. Um, and this is interesting, um, actually. When we leave the when we don't insert a parameter into the form open, form open function, um, what it does is it just assumes that it's a, uh, a self-submitting form, similar, similarly to how your action uh, attribute does in your form, uh, form tag. So um, if you leave it blank, only CodeIgniter will actually fill this out for you and put and set it as as the URL that you're currently at, and then just resubmit it to that. Um, okay, so let's go and go ahead and build our form elements. So what I'll do is I'll put it inside a p tag, close the p tag, and then echo form underscore input. Now this receives two parameters, um, in, at least in this instance, we'll only be dealing with it with the form input, form password, and form submit with two, two input fields, uh, parameters, sorry. The, the first type we're going to use, it, or like the first parameter is the name, the actual like name attribute in the HTML. The second is the value. So in, in this case, actually, we're just going to leave it blank, but I will show you how, how to have that autocomplete afterwards once they've already submitted the form saying they have errors. Um, next, we will go for a password. Go form underscore password is another function, and I'm sure you can guess what it does. And then lastly, we have form underscore submit, which creates a submit button. And we'll call this uh, login underscore submit. And the second, the second parameter, like I said, is the value. Um, in this case, we actually do need it, so we can have it just say login, because as you know, um, the value attribute in a button or in an, in an HTML button or submit button is the actual text that shows up on the button. So I just clean up some of these and view it. There we go. This is auto completed because it's probably just another form that I've done. And uh, I guess one thing I can do really quick is uh, put on some labels. So why don't I do that? We'll go email and password. Save it and run it. There we go. Here's our login form, uh, looking good as ever. And now uh, you can see if I if I actually try and submit this and go like hello at welcome.com for email and just password for password, you can see that it just resubmits to the same URL. Um, in this case, though, we don't want it to do that. We actually do want to specify it, the controller and the function of the, and the function in that controller that we want to handle the validation. So in this case, we'll go main slash login underscore validation, which is a function that we haven't actually created yet. So now if I refresh this page, and then submit it again. Hello at welcome.com. And then uh, password. Now it actually redirects me to the main controller and the login function of that. So if I want to actually go ahead and create that right now, I could go public function. Um, 
believe it was login underscore validation. And then we'll just load a, uh, actually we'll just leave this empty just so that it's there. We can see it is submitting to this and now that the controller has been created, um, that's where it goes. So um, I'll leave it there for the for this video. In the next video, I'll show you the form validation and we'll validate all that content. Uh, thanks for watching.